if you're planning to move to the North Metro Atlanta area and don't want to be too close to the city, but don't want to be too far away either, chances are you've come across the town of Brazelton, Georgia. Brazelton is unique because the town itself is divided between four counties, Barrow, Gwinnett, Hall, and Jackson counties. So stick around until the end to find out more about this cool city. What's up you guys, I'm Tim Trevathan with Tim Trevathan Homes and Keller Williams Realty. And I help people from across Atlanta who are looking to upgrade or downsize their home, as well as people from across the country who are moving to the area for the first time. And I get it, moving can be a stressful process and my goal is to remove that stress and make it as seamless as possible for you. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me via call, text, email, or any other way so I can help you in your home search. Today, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Brazelton. And I also have videos on numerous other communities in the area, including neighboring Houston and nearby Buford. So be sure to check those out if you are in the process of deciding where in North Metro Atlanta you'd like to call home. Let's start with pro number one, property taxes. Unlike many of the towns and cities around Atlanta, Brazelton has no municipal property tax. You heard me right. The millage rate is zero for those who live in the city limits. You do still have to pay county property taxes, but not having to pay city property taxes is a nice perk that residents of most nearby cities do not enjoy. Neighboring Houston also did not have a property tax, but voted in 2022 to institute a 3.5 millage rate property tax for the first time. Winder and Buford, two other neighboring cities, have had property taxes for years. Con number one, four counties. Like I said earlier, Brazelton is not large, but it is split between four counties. That means residents are served by four different school systems. That's a lot. Most of the schools serving the area are great, but do be sure to check out the schools that specific homes you are looking at are zoned for and make sure they are a good fit for your family. To make things even more confusing, some homes with Brazelton addresses are outside of the city limits, while some homes with Houston, Buford, or Flowery Branch addresses are in Brazelton city limits. Confusing, right? Thankfully, Brazelton has a link to a great map on their website that clearly shows the city limits and can help you determine if a home you're interested in is inside or outside of the city. Looking at this map, it's no wonder Brazelton has what the city calls postal confusion. Those are some crazy boundary lines. Pro number two, affordability. While there are homes listed over $1 million in Brazelton, there's a huge price range when it comes to homes in Brazelton. The median sold price in November 2022, for example, was $490,000. But when I was grabbing the numbers for this video, there were 81 homes available under 500,000 and 19 under 400,000. Prices are of course higher than what they used to be in this area, partly due to the housing market craziness that we've experienced and also due to development and the increasing popularity of the area. But compared to nearby Buford and Houston, Brazelton is more affordable and a great place to look you also get more for your money out here than you would closer to Atlanta. Con number two, location. Unfortunately, there is only one real way to get from Brazelton to downtown Atlanta, and that is heading straight down Interstate 85. The state has done its best to alleviate traffic and finished widening the interstate not too long ago, but the metro area keeps growing, which means more cars joining the daily commute to and from Atlanta. Right now, Brazelton is sort of on the northern edge of Atlanta's slow but steady suburban sprawl, which means that unfortunately, you have to stay on the interstate a good bit longer than commuters who live closer to the city. Not a huge deal, but those extra minutes can add up to a pretty significant chunk of time over weeks and months. Pro number three, location. Because Brazelton is on the northern edge of Atlanta's suburban sprawl, you can escape to almost anywhere in the North Georgia mountains in under two hours if you want a weekend away and can hop over to Lake Lanier in just 30 minutes, making those a more convenient option that they would be if you lived closer to Atlanta. 
Also, given Brazelton's proximity to more rural parts of Georgia, you aren't far from a variety of farm lands if you like to purchase locally grown produce during the growing season. There are many more options within a 20 to 30 minute drive than you would have closer to the city. Con number three, lack of shopping. Because Brazelton is fairly small and also has those crazy city limits, there is not a ton of shopping in Brazelton. There are two Publix grocery stores and a Kroger, but for other grocery store options or big box shopping like Target or Walmart, you'll have to leave Brazelton and go elsewhere. You can get almost anywhere you want to go within about 20 minutes. So it's not really a problem, but you don't have multiple grocery stores or big box options just minutes like you do some other places in the metro area. Pro number four, downtown Brazelton. Downtown Brazelton is small, very small, but the city is doing its best to make it a fun place to visit. The 1904 is a former mercantile from early in Brazelton's history that has become a community gathering place with a public lobby, as well as shops and food and beverage options. There is a parking garage in downtown that makes parking a breeze for visiting the 1904 or attending a city event. The city also holds several popular events, including a weekly farmer's market during the growing season, a semi-annual antique and artisan festival, a 4th of July celebration on the town train, Christmas light trolley tour, movies and concerts on the town green, and a chocolate walk as well as a bourbon and bacon sip and stroll. Hmm, it's a lot to do actually, and now that I think about it. Brazelton may be small, but it works hard to be a place its residents love to live. Here's a quick fun fact. It's not downtown, but Brazelton hosts the Motul Petit Le Mans, an international endurance race each year that attracts cars and drivers from all over the world. I hope I pronounced that right. I did take French in high school, but I forgot most of it. It is located at Road Atlanta, and the best part is kids under 12 are free. Con number four, traffic. I know, I talk a lot about traffic being a con for places in Atlanta, but usually I talk about traffic in terms of your commute to downtown Atlanta. In Brazelton, local traffic is the con. The reason for this traffic is growth and development, primarily in terms of new homes, and they really have outpaced road widening and other infrastructure improvements. Changes are slowly but surely being made, like the new roundabout at Highway 211 and Old Hog Mountain Road. But in the meantime, local traffic can be quite heavy during rush hour. Pro number five, Chateau Elan. If you like to golf, enjoy the fine wine, or treat yourself to a luxury spa, you will love having Chateau Elan right around the corner. In fact, me and my wife went there for our second anniversary. So it's definitely a good place for cool dates with your significant other. Chateau Elan considers itself North Georgia's premier destination resort and offers top-notch accommodations, dining and golf, and has its own winery and spa as well. Book a weekend getaway or take advantage of the short drive and treat yourself to a relaxing day at the spa or out on one of their three golf courses. The winery produces over 30 wines on site and the tasting room is open daily. Con number five, transitioning from small town to suburbia. This admittedly will be a pro for some people, but it is a con for a lot of people. If you have your eye on Brazelton because you love the small town feel, love seeing cows on your daily drive, or love feeling like you live close to the country or rural areas, you may want to move a little bit further out than Brazelton. While Brazelton currently has all those things, it is slowly but surely becoming developed, one former pasture at a time. So if you're considering Brazelton because you want to be close to the conveniences of suburbia, want a decent commute to Atlanta, or want more affordable housing than close to Atlanta, it is a great place to consider. If you're considering Brazelton because you're currently in Gwinnett or Fulton counties, and want to trade the suburbs for the country, I would suggest that you look further out. So there you have it, pros and cons of living in Brazelton, Georgia. It really is a great place to call home. And if you are interested in learning more or seeing what's available in your price range, you know who to call.